back with more of the Warhorn. Before we get into the episode, big shout out to the developers who have given me five keys for this game. So we're gonna do a giveaway. All you have to do is to participate is go and leave a comment below the video, letting me know how you found my channel and maybe even let me know what videos you did enjoy the most or currently enjoying on the channel. Now in a couple of days, we're gonna be picking five comments and contact them to give them the keys. So all you have to do is make sure you have any type of social network, Twitter or whatever, connected to your YouTube account so you can see that on your YouTube about page so I can contact you and give you your winning prize. Now I'm playing this game single player, but of course, remember you can play this game multiplayer. I haven't tried a server yet, but you know, if you have friends or whatever, you can play that with them. Also, we found out recently through comments that we can upgrade our base or our town, which is amazing. So all I need apparently is 50 wood. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this. So can I just, okay, I put it here, is it? Okay, 50 wood and that's it, level up. Oh, okay, yes, we did. Oh, what happened? Did anything change? I don't think anything changed, but we leveled up. So, oh, hang on a second. Does this mean the sawmill? Oh, that is amazing. We can actually do the sawmill now. That is so sweet. So how, how do we do that? Oh, I have to go into building mode. Don't I? I have to go into building mode. I go to buildings. Sawmill, can I do it? I need 15 wood. Oh, I only have 11. I was just thinking, oh no, it's not working. It's broken. It's teasing me. I think the sawmill is what allows me then to do the planks, which would be really amazing. Let's check this out. We're gonna go into building sawmill and whoa this is big okay we can't put it here because apparently look at that our town hall seems to have some sort of ex ghost extension yeah so we can't place it right here yeah let's just put it here now we're gonna need more it's always so depressing it's like here's the glorious building and then <laughs> so we probably what do we need we need oh we need wooden planks to make it off course so we gotta put the wood in we gotta put the sticks in i'm gonna get the wood and the sticks done and then we're gonna go past the wooden uh, the lumberjacks and we're gonna check out how to get our planks and then we're gonna upgrade this and then we have our own sawmill which i hope will allow us to make our own wooden planks so first they make you work hard to get the wooden planks and then they're gonna make it easier for you so this is pretty amazing i thought we have to walk all the way up to the lumberjacks but there actually was i remember there was a saw sign in the village and this guy here is actually something who can give us planks look at this this is amazing we're gonna give him wood and he gives us planks for 25 coins look at that nice what is he saying uh, uh, oh he did he did and they oh they're in the queue i think there we go look at that they've been made 50 planks have been made out of 25 wood that is amazing oh yes we're gonna get some more wood while this is running we're gonna make a couple of hundred planks and then we're gonna go back to our base because we can we can use them there this is amazing and it's so close let's finish this building we have everything we need now i think so wooden planks 30 okay built oh, i love this nice and there we go it's done oh Couple of things are a little flying around, but I think it's done. So let's check it out. Oh, this is this is the same guy as in town. So we have our own first shop. So we can do it all here. It's a pity it still costs the same. You kind of would hope that it maybe is a little bit cheaper, but oh, look at that. We can make all more variations, which are unlocked. Okay, that's fair enough. So this is pretty good. We got all the planks now, which means we potentially can now build things that we need planks for. What else is there? We have the sawmill. Oh, we have to hand in planks to upgrade the town again. Let's see if we can do that. We need planks for sure. And then was it sticks? It was to upgrade the building again the sawmill, the town hall, upgrade the village. There we go. 50 wood and 50 planks. So we have the planks and I get the wood and then we're gonna upgrade it again and see what building we unlock. Upgrade, wood, here we go. And all oh, productivity. 260 all oh, productivity so this is what this is i get it now so we do certain things at each level like building things and they increase that productivity and that is what we need so we need 200 out of 260 okay that's fine we got that level up and now we need 300 so it's not enough just to have this but we also need productivity which we can get with the buildings that are probably unlocked so let's have a quick look we now have a blacksmith that is amazing and we can actually make him as well well we're gonna have to have a lot more planks on us and everything but if we have this guy here let's see if we can put the blacksmith very close to that that would be absolutely amazeballs here looks absolutely fine it's very close to the saw but that's that's what it is like you know it's a it's a close building it's a town you know everything is close we need only a hundred wood <laughs> Thank you. 
Here we go. We have the final pieces of wood. Bada bing, bada bam, and built. I hope they're not gonna cut into each other, the buildings. No, but they're so perfectly close, which is amazing. I love it. Okay, let's get a little bit of light in here. Oh, this is so nice. Can we use, oh, open? No, we don't know how to use it. Oh, this is so annoying. Do we have a forge? Oh, I thought we could put the iron in there to make iron ingots or something. Let's see what we have here. Hey, man, do you have anything you can snatch? No? Okay, so let's see what you do. You give us a sword. I actually bought a sword, so I bought the common sword, which is the same damage as... Uh, the sword I have is the same damage as my knife, but um, I'm okay with that. So let's see, what do we have? We can get a common sword three crafted for resources we actually have, and then we can sell them probably because they're worth a good penny. So if we go and check that out it doesn't say tell us the price but i think they're worth a couple of hundred so we could oh iron arrows no way oh yes and a spider sword a bloody sword oh this is amazing can we upgrade these guys independently that would be so cool i know we can upgrade the town hall somehow what else was there so before i get sidetracked is there anything else we have the or an arch sword a hunter bow Oh, that would be so sweet. So what upgrades these guys? A ballista? Holy balls, we can make a ballista as well. Of course, it's supposed to f defend our village from the ravenous zombie hordes. But did we get more when we upgraded the village? No, we didn't unlock any more when we upgraded the village. So can does that not mean we can upgrade these guys individually, maybe? I don't know. We have to figure that out because I also don't know how I can upgrade my town hall with that extra building on the side. That would be amazing if we can. You see, it just says town hall and village. That's all it is. Oh, there for village. Ooh, we have toilets, an outhouse, a carriage. Ooh, that would be interesting to see if we get horses with that. And then we have, of course, the usual shenanigans. Nothing really was out of here. Look at this ballista and catapult. That is amazing. And then here we have the different house parts, which I don't think we got any extra either. So this is all pretty much the same as it was before. Nothing has changed, no matter what the town hall level is. But I wonder if we can start getting NPCs now. NPCs, create an NPC. Why does it say zero out of zero? What do I need to have NPCs? Now, I wonder if this is going to be like any of the other big, big games you have where you manage a town, that you have to build a shelter, because that is the odd one out here, kind of. So I wonder, what is the shelter for? Could the shelter be something that allows us then to increase the number of NPCs? Or is that just a shelter for us? Does it build the whole thing? Nice! Oh, wow! It actually builds the whole thing with a door and everything. So does that count now as... Oh, there is a bed with... Oh, wow! That's actually for us! That is amazing. We have a bed. Can we lie down? <gasps> we can sleep. Look at this. That's our dude. He's asleep. Oh, and night passes, does it? And morning comes. That is amazing. You can sleep through the night in a shelter. So I thought the shelter was more that we could have now villages there and we can create them. But this is awesome as well. So never mind. Like, I mean, I have my own shark who cares, you know? It just looks like it's going to become a busy village. As far as I understand, mounts are not actually a thing in this game yet. So you can see them in some of the menus that there is mounts, but I don't think you can write anything yet. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe you can, maybe not. I haven't figured out yet how. So we can go here or here. So we're going to go close to yeah. the king and do, the, do that first. So let's see what happens. Do we just load in? Did I just give him money? I did give him the money, so do I... Oh, do I go in? Does he actually... Oh, he actually dry... That's amazing. Oh, he loads, but he doesn't really physically drive, but it's amazing that he actually does this. This is so cool. And then there is the guy just here again. So let's see where we are. We're near the dark forest. So let's go over to the warrior king and we even can put a marker down. Oh, the dark forest. Now we have a sword on us and we have bow and arrows. So let's see if we can snipe one of those creatures and see what they drop. Let's make sure we're not going to get surrounded and have one coming and attacking us in the back. Oh, there's a building. Let's check this out. And there is a structure as well. So let's see what these guys are made of. There we go. A grim reap. Whoa! Okay. There we go. Just keep strafing. Ow! Okay, let's go to sword. There we go. We got him. Oh, we're not hurting him. No, no, no. Quickly, the bow. Oh, we got him. We got him. 
Woo! Okay, let's quickly drink some healing potion. Woo! That was close. Let's see what the loot is. This is where we get bones from. Okay, that makes sense. So Dark Forest is where we get bones from. Oh, there's a skeleton as well. That is amazing. There's some really, really cool mobs here. Okay, what is this? Load rune. Oh, we don't have a rune. I'm not going to attack them. Maybe they'll leave me alone. So we need a rune for this place. That is interesting. So let's have a quick look here. So this is just a burned out building. There's actually nothing to loot here. Nothing of interest. What are these guys? Are they dangerous? Are they going to attack us? They're like water elementals. What are they? Are they go oh! Uh oh! Okay, sword. Come on! Oh, we're so close to death. Again, so close to death. We get drowner fins! Nice! I completely forgot. I have skill points. <laughs> I saved them up so I could do it on camera. That's what I wanted to do. This costs two skill points and I saved them up. And that is all armor you wear will be 20% more resistant to damage. I should have done that before I got into a fight. You think? Oh, there we go. Nice. It looks friendly. It looks bright. I love it. So we hopefully... Ooh, we suck. I ah, take it. I take it. Oh, there's a guy there. I wonder if we... Oh, let's take all that. I, I, I mean, he doesn't seem to mind, so... You know, that, that's the main thing. If he oh. does... Ow! I shouldn't have drank that one. Oh, dead chicken. No, what happened to chickadee? All oh, the chicken are dead. No! Oh, what happened? Dude, give me the flowers. Hey, old man, how are you doing? Oh, welcome to my palace. I was just looking for someone like you to help me take care of my manor. You see, my property wouldn't be the same without my magic garden and it's beautiful flowers. Thanks to them, people respect me and I can live like a real king. Okay, I see. How can I help? Ah, that's quite easy. First, help me by feeding my valuable pheasants. They are all dead. And once you're done, just come to me and I might have some more work for you. Just so you know, these birds are too lazy to even move. I would like to get the same package as always. They are your stones. Ah, let me see them first. Yes, they're beautiful. I don't have stones that are shaped this way. Splendid. There's your package. Be well. Okay, so now we got the package, which is great, but we might as well stay here and feed his pheasants. They are peacocks. It's not important what you call my birds. You called them pheasants. I think they're dead and you lost the plot. How many times do I have to tell you that these birds are called swans? Anyway, you dude are crazy. Let's talk to our friend. I think it was Tom that we had to t hand it in. There's the box of flowers. Yes, thank you. That was 400 schmackaroonies, I think. Yes, it was. Excellent stuff. I really, really like it that we just walk towards our village and there's buildings appearing. It's actually a village. Now, nobody's living there. I believe the NPCs will start giving us NPC slots or the town will give us NPC slots if we level it up. I think it's tied to the level of the town. Well, that's pretty amazing. Um, this picture we can make for free. It doesn't cost anything. No resources, nothing. And placing it gives us five points so yeah we're gonna be 300 very quickly there's, there's no limit how many we can place the limit is only well how much room we have on the walls and that's it well we can put it on the floor no we can't but we can't even put it here so let's just put it on the full walls end of story and there we go we're nearly at 300 points and then we can upgrade our town hall to the next level maybe the npc unlocks at the next level or after that but it doesn't matter because look at that we got our 300 oh no way we can change that is amazing and is that the same picture again no it's a different one each time look at that that is amazing oh that is so cool and a different one again a diff that's the same one there's one two three four five six seven different pictures that is so cool